Hi, future GISPs. I'm going to teach you everything that I learned to easily pass the GISP exam so that you don't have to spend years reading textbooks, getting degrees, paying for prep courses, and searching the internet for information like I did. In this video, I'm going to teach you everything I learned about spatial data generalization operations and methods. Spatial data generalization operations and methods is the second section under the data manipulation category of the GISCI Geospatial Core Technical Exam list of knowledge categories. Let's get started with Section 502, Spatial Data Generalization Operations and Methods. Generalization. Generalization reduces detail in data. It's used to declutter maps, increase map draw speed, and hide sensitive information. Generalization is needed on small scale maps where there is not enough room to display all the features or details. Generalization reduces data accuracy and causes information loss. Vector generalization. Vector generalization techniques include select, simplify, smooth, symbolize, merge, aggregate, typify, collapse, reclassify, exaggerate, displace, enhance, hierarchy, edge matching, topological simplification, and scale-dependent rendering. Select. Select keeps some features and omits others. Select is also known as omit. Simplify. Simplify removes vertices in lines and boundaries. Smooth. Smooth makes the shapes look smoother, which may require adding vertices. Symbolization. Symbolization represents features with icons. Merge. Merge combines adjacent features. Merge is also known as dissolve, agglomerate, and combine. Aggregate. Aggregate merges multiple features into a new composite feature. Aggregate often increases the dimension of features. For example, multiple points can be aggregated into a polygon. Aggregate is also known as combine, regionalize, and fuse. Typify. Typify replaces a large set of features with a smaller number of features. For example, representing 10 points with just three or four points. Typify is also known as distribution refinement. Collapse. Collapse reduces the dimension of a feature. For example, representing a city with a point. Collapse is also known as symbolize and sequelitization. Mm -hmm. 
reclassify. Reclassify reduces a large range of values into a small number of categories. Reclassify is also known as categorization. Exaggerate. Exaggerate makes features larger than they are. For example, representing roads with lines thicker than the roads really are on a small scale map. Exaggerate is also known as emphasis. Displace. Displace moves the location of features that are too close together. Displace is also known as conflict resolution. Enhance. Enhance adds symbols or other details. For example, adding a bridge symbol to a road to show a road overpass. Hierarchy. Hierarchy organizes features into hierarchical levels. Edge matching. Edge matching makes boundaries between adjacent map sheets or tiles seamless. Topological simplification. Topological simplification removes unnecessary topological details. Scale-dependent rendering. Scale-dependent rendering adjusts feature visibility based on the map scale. Those were many of the methodologies for generalizing vector data. Now let's take a look at some of the methodologies for generalizing raster data. Raster generalization. Raster datasets can be generalized by reducing the resolution. Multiple resolutions can be stored in a raster pyramid. Resolution reduction. Resolution reduction decreases the spatial resolution of raster data. Resolution reduction results in a larger cell size, smaller file, faster display, a loss of accuracy, and information loss. Raster pyramids Raster pyramids generalize a raster to improve display performance. They are a downsampled version of the original raster dataset and can contain many downsampled layers at different scales. Now you know everything I learned about spatial data generalization operations and methods to easily pass the GISP exam. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that I can keep helping people pass the GISP exam and achieve the rewarding careers in GIS that they deserve. You can also find everything I learned past the GISP exam in my book, The Ultimate GISP Exam Study Guide, available on Amazon. My study guide is an easily understandable, comprehensive, graphical, all-in-one resource for passing the exam. You can find the link to my study guide in the description below. Thanks for joining me and congratulations in advance on passing the GISP exam.